One of the highlights of my 40-year career in TV sports was covering the Minnesota Twins for 17 seasons. And they had an all-star player not that long ago. His name is Torrey Hunter, one of the best baseball players who played for the Twins. Got to know him really well. If he was here now, he'd give everybody a high five and, and greet everybody that's here. He's that type of guy. Just a really nice guy. He was playing for Detroit, he came back and I got to interview him. And this is the question I ask. What do you do to get ready for the game? And he says, John, I've done this every game I've played for the Minnesota Twins or anybody else. He says, what I do is I go out and I stretch. I go out and stretch and I take batting practice and then I go into the clubhouse, go to my locker and take out my iPad and play my greatest hits. He said, your greatest hits? You mean music, right? I said, no, not music. I play my greatest fielding plays and greatest hitting plays and greatest catches in the outfield. i had done that every game since I've been playing pro baseball. Why? Does it make any difference? Torrey Hunter looked at me right in my eye and said, John, it makes all the difference in the world. What I'm doing is preparing for the game, but not only preparing for the game, but preparing to play as well as I possibly can. So what's, what's the point for you in a story like that? What do you do when you get up in the morning? What do you think about when you get out of the morning? Do you think about your successes? Or are you thinking, man, I, I don't want to do that. And you think of everything that could go wrong. Oh no, it's snowy out, it's icy. Here's the suggestion, what you do when you get up is to focus your attention on the good. And if you can't find anything good, is your heart beating? Can you see? Can you hear? What's good about your life? And if you focus on what's good, you'll get the good. Whatever you focus on with emotion expands. So if you're thinking negative all the time, it's going to expand in your life. Where if you are grateful for having a heartbeat, grateful for the relatives that you have and the friends and the people at work and the job that you have, if you're grateful for that, you'll get more of it. I think of an all-American track star. Her name is Molly Brennan. She was at Michigan State. And I went down to interview her, and, and she was sitting in the grass, so I sat down too. And I was in Detroit, and she was at Michigan State. And I said, Molly, has anybody ever said anything to you that made a difference in your life? And she says, yes, my mom did. My mom told me, make the most of ordinary days, because that's what most of your days will be, ordinary days. See, if you make the most of ordinary days, and you set that compass on, hey man, I'm going for it today. Today is a great day. But think of the people that take a day off on Friday. They're still at work. <laughs> They're not giving their all because it's Friday. And then Monday is another day. So you got Monday and Friday. Make the most of ordinary days. I was covering the Minnesota Timberwolves when they played the Lakers at Staples Center. And I sit down literally on the court. And right across from me, Five, ten feet away is Denzel Washington. Oh my, a superstar. I thought, fantastic. And I thought, oh, he's going to be a nice guy. And I pick up my camera and I pointed at Denzel Washington. And it took about five seconds. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just taking a picture of you. I'm from Minnesota. We're covering the Timberwolves Lakers game. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> All the other superstars were there. So I had a connection with Denzel Washington. Couldn't wait to see the movie Fences. Phenomenal actor. Here's the point with Denzel Washington. I heard a speech he gave to the graduating class, high school graduating class. And he told this story. Before you go to bed, I want you to take your slippers and slip them way under the bed so that when you get up in the morning, You'll be there, ready to say what you're grateful for and say your prayers. It's so simple. Don't make it complicated. You want to do better? You want to be better? You want to feel better? You want to have more friends, get more done? 
Picture it. Picture it. Every job that I've ever had, I pictured before I got it. It's as simple as that. Look for the good, what do you get? Look for the bad, what happens? I dare you to try it. It's simple, it's easy, it doesn't cost anything. But it can change your life and the life of people all around you too.